Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to walk you through the initial setup for the Samsung Tab S6 Lite right out of the box. So once you take everything out of the packaging, you should have obviously the S6 Lite itself, as well as the pen, a charging adapter, a charging cord. And before powering on the device, just to do a quick walkthrough here, the S Pen is going to have a little action button here on the side. And then for the tablet itself, it's going to have a front facing camera up here. The charging port is going to be here at the bottom along with the speaker. And then on the side, we're going to have volume up, volume down, as well as an action button here. And then also a rear facing camera. And that's basically everything that needs to be pointed out for the Tab S6 Lite. So now at this point, we're going to start things up by clicking that action button on the side, holding it down until we see it saying Samsung Galaxy Tab 6S Lite powered by Android, and this is indicating that it's powering up for its initial startup phase. And then it takes us to the starting Android page, and it's gonna walk us through the step-by-step -step setup process here. So it's saying, let's go. If you want, you can change your language or country right in this drop-down area. And if that all looks good, go ahead and click the little forward arrow. And then check out the terms and conditions on this page if you'd like to do that. And once you check all of these boxes, saying you have read and agreed to all of the above, then you can click next. And then it's gonna have you choose a Wi-Fi network in your general vicinity. And then after you choose your wireless router, enter in your wireless password, and then click connect after you type in your router's password. And then after a little bit, it should officially connect to your wireless router, then you can click next. And then it's gonna check for updates. This may take a few minutes. And then it takes us to this page where it says copy apps and data. So this is optional. You can choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google account, and more by clicking next. But if you don't want to copy, you can click don't copy right here. And personally for me, I just want to start completely fresh and new. So I'm not going to copy apps and data from a previous device. Again, this is something that is optional to you. But particularly since this is my first Android tablet, I want to start completely fresh. So I'm going to go ahead and click don't copy. And then it's going to ask you to sign in to your Google account that you want to link to this Android tablet. If you don't have a Google account, you can create an account right here. Otherwise, enter in your Google email and then click next. And then on this page, you're going to enter in your Google password and then click next. And then it's going to take us to the terms and services page. As long as you agree with the Google terms and services, go ahead and click I agree. Then it's going to check info and get your account info. And then it says just a sec, your assistant will be right with you. And it's just giving you different things that you can ask of Google Assistant. So then we're going to click next. And then for Google services, it's going to ask you if you want Google to back up to Google Drive, if you want to use your location, allow scanning, send usage and diagnostics data, install updates and apps, things such as that. And I'm going to have everything checked except for send usage and diagnostic data. Everything else I'm going to check. But this is just personal preference for you guys. So you can kind of pick and choose which items that you want to have turned on or off and then click accept and then you can protect your tablet and prevent others from using it without your permission by activating device protection features such as face recognition pattern pin or password you can set up any of these options and i recommend setting up at least one option such as password pin or pattern if you don't want to do face recognition but all of this is optional too so if you don't want to protect your tablet you can also just click skip and then click skip anyways if you don't want to have any of these protections on your tablet. And of course, you can always add protections later if you initially don't have anything protecting your tablet. And then it's going to recommend that you sign in using a Samsung account. But especially since you're already signed in with your Google account, that should more than suffice for what you need. So I'm going to go ahead and click skip. And then it's going to tell you all the things that you're missing out on by not having a Samsung account. But I don't need that, so I'm going to go ahead and click skip. And then now I'm officially all done with the setup process. So I'm going to go ahead and click finish. And then at this point, it brings us to the home page. You can tap for weather info. And to get started by adding applications to your tablet, go over to the Google Play Store. And you can look through the Google Play Store to add apps that you're interested in putting on to your tablet. So going back to the home page to finish things out here. So I hope this video was helpful walking you through the step-by-step -step process on how to go through the initial setup phase with your Samsung Tab S6 Lite. I hope this video was helpful. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing and I'll catch you back here next time.